Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Ooh, we're back on top on approval. Excellent. I'm your host, Galvin, and welcome back to Civilization V. Where, if you missed last episode because you didn't want to sit through the lag, and I don't blame you, um... Show Q. I have officially okayed... Wow. What the hell's going wrong now? God damn it. I have officially decided to okay the Manhattan Project. To use on who, you ask? None other than Siam. They already have 30 World Congress delegates, which has now formed the United Nations, so we're going to start proposing world leadership. They are getting too close for comfort, in my opinion. And, as such, as, as well as being, you know, my biggest competitor overall, I think. Yeah, 741. Maybe there's the other guy here? 744. Um, but I need to do something about him. Nuking him is a far from ideal solution, but it's something. I don't want his cities. But I need to find a way to cut his resources. Although the terrain's not loading in, it's alright, you know, it's on my frame rate, it's not doing too bad. It, it's livable now. Um... But yeah, we got problems here. I need to, I need to, I need to do something. And like I said, I usually don't go with nuclear missiles. They're not the first thing I jump to. But in this case, it's seeming like a decent idea. It seems like something I could uh, get away with doing. I have more than enough military power overall. Uh, all I would require would be can this no. Range 2, range strength 60. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, that might work. Maybe I don't have any nuclear missiles at all. Maybe I can just bombard him into submission. Um, up to nine tiles from friendly territory. The following turn. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted. More of, I think I'm going to take to the seas. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm not going to resort to that. Nuclear missiles, I'm still above those. Like, just a good old-fashioned battleship. Um, and where's aircraft carrier? I'm fairly certain I have those. Or do I need, still need something else for that? I thought I had aircraft carriers. Combined arms. I was fairly certain I had aircraft gear, a carrier. I knew I had them. Uh, okay, so it's there. It's just carrier. Cavalry, private ironclad. Here we go, carrier. Between battleship and submarine. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, perhaps purchasing may be a way, way, wise way to handle it. Yeah, we're gonna purchase a carrier. And a bomber. Ooh, a unit has gained enough experience to be promoted. Armor plating. I think I'll take a flight deck, thank you. Still, eh, this is far from ideal. Um, I wish I could use, you know, carriers as a form of para dropping. But I guess I'm gonna have to bring, like, a uh, soldier with me or something. When we hit Siam's capital. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna hit their capital, actually. They've got coastal, they've got coastal cities. Launching a uh, full-scale assault on this. Looks like it could work just fine. I can use Genoa as a staging ground. I hope they won't mind. Um, using one aircraft stationed. So they do have aircraft. Interesting. Great War Bomber. So they only have a bomber, so they don't have anything to stop my bombers. That's good. So a uh, barraging battleship combined with a bomber should be able to bring the city to its knees pretty instantly, I would hope. 
And then should just be a matter of getting in. So I am remains host. I knew it probably wouldn't be been able to affect it, but I tried. Best I can say. Okay, so three turns until a battleship. I suppose I could start on the Apollo program afterwards. Or the Hubble Space Telescope. And Bernie's a uh, new thing. Alright, start producing research. You're on science focus, right? Eh, it doesn't matter, you're on manual, so I'll have to do that anyway. Uh, we're going to take away that and go directly to science focus. If that's the best they can do, I beg to differ. They could totally do that. Um, ah, well, whatever. Up to the AI, I suppose. Either way, we're producing a lot of tech, though, so that's really what counts. Got, you know, eight turns here, which is all good. Still, every 24 turns, I risk losing the game. So, although he won't make it by the next one, that one I'm su sure of. Uh, we're gonna do nothing. Alright, next turn, I should be able to get a bomber. Actually gonna have to, you know, take to the seas with a simple carrier air group at this point. Why are you Okay? It's like they're psychic or something. I haven't done anything wrong in a while. I thought people had gotten over that, but I guess not. Darn. Genghis Khan has entered the industrial era. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I feel bad. I feel really bad for him. Because I'm now in the information era. He's all the way back here. I am eclipsing every, the entire game technology. La France offre cette proposition exceptionnelle. Of course, Napoleon. Yeah, we're up to 24 tourism output now, which is, puts me on top, I'm fairly certain. Alright, so I definitely have the uh, most offensive power. Uh, influenced by player. Polynesia, Hans, England, Sweden, Ottomans. And... Oh, the World's Fair is finally completed. Jeez, how did I guess? <laughs> yeah, I knew I didn't need to put any more into it after I'd put two grand into it. So the rest of the bastards couldn't put enough in. Sucks to be them. Oh yes, free social policy, baby. Recent World Congress project. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> so, one local happiness from every national wonder. Oh, it's a national wonder. Oh, damn, I thought it was natural wonder. I'm a dumbass. Um... Alright, three turns until another policy. Sovereignty. Uh, it would actually help my gold output a fair bit if I did this. Boom. <laughs> That's a gold output. Speaking of... Oh, we're here. Um. Ah, oh, damn, I don't have quite enough for a bomber. Nothing. Still got a couple turns until it's ready. But yeah, that definitely up my gold output. Why are you so hostile? I don't know, man. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, my culture towards the Huns. Exotic, exotic, exotic. How long will it be till I get Persia, though? Differing ideologies makes it kind of hard. Hmm. 
Well, at least definitely there will be uh, fairly, you know, swaths of people. Actually, I just realized probably not a lot of people are in the industrial era. Alright, apparently, you know, making friends with Mongolia was a bad idea. Well, fuck you. That's all I have to say. They will pay. They will pay in time. It's going to be time, I assure you that much. What are you guys building? A mine? How do I not have a mine there already? I don't know. Ooh, I've discovered penicillin. In nothing do men more nearly approach the gods than in giving health to men. Alright. Uh, purchase. Bomber. Uh, so how do I select the bomber? Like that. Bombardment, land units, cities. Great, so how do I load it onto the carrier? Um, let's intro away here and uh, order it to do nothing. Then I'll fly the bomber over next turn. Sign delegates. Um, I spend everything I got fighting that. It's probably nowhere near enough, but. Oh well. Industrial era. Industrial era. I need to throw uh, Siam back into the Stone Age without nuclear weapons. Oh, an enemy has stopped being denouncing me. <laughs> Alright, America stopped denouncing me. It's, it's cute that they were denouncing me before. So adorable. Little America. I'm surprised they're still alive. Mostly alive because I haven't decided to just blow them up. Don't even want their city. Just level it. Their caravan. It's probably the only reason they're getting any science at all. Poor guys. Oh well, on the plus side, uh, let's see, they're getting around 15 science from that caravan. It's probably a lot to them. Range of 10, so it should be able to go and land on the carrier. Combined with the battleship that's coming out this turn, uh, I'll have a little battle fleet to go with here. Um, and at that point, I think I'm just going to need... I still have Mahal Safari. Um... Alright, so how long would it take you to get to, say, here? Really? The fastest way is walking? Apparently the fastest way is walking. What? Wait, what? Hey, yeah, uh, you might want to be recalculating that. I'm just saying. Alright. Well, we'll do that. Um... We'll rebase to the carrier. Perfect. And battleship naval units or land units. Well, it's going to be fighting the cities, but in the event there's any naval resistance, it'll be best to have a battleship they can fight. Alright, so the carrier has to cross the vast ocean. I can bomb from a very decent range out here, I'd think. Alright, I told it to go there, even though it doesn't look like I did. Oh, cargo ship, what were you doing before? Because whatever you're doing before, I want you to keep doing it. Hey, you were going to Erdeen. Terivo Adwa. Um. 36 pressure, 42 pressure, good. 18 pressure to that. Um, 
I really have to wonder, like, can I rebase you to Alexandria? And then just send you to Aradine, because that would double up the religious pressure. Alexander is ready for a new construction project. Good. We've been in the culture mobile and that one that to the tourism output. So that went from 15 to 24 the first time. So that's going to go from 24 to 33 this time. If I grab a hotel, which I think I will then. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, and then I think after that we're going to add the Hubble Space Telescope to the queue and start working on that. Or get the Eiffel Tower going. You know, the Eiffel Tower might be a good thing. Um, no one's even close to the information era yet, so we'll go for the Eiffel Tower instead. Alright, so a battleship, I need you... Indirect fire. Obstacles, good. Oh, well, at least it knows where it's going. Ban luxuries was passed. Arts funding was passed. 18 May from Portugal. Uh, damn it. Oh, well. Like I said, I'm going to bomb Cyan into the Stone Age. Apparently they don't have aircraft stationed in it there anymore. I don't know what they're doing with it, but... Anyway. Completely, I'm going to capture the city, and then I will raise it. I have no interest in holding his city. I only want it destroyed. If I take out, you know... If I can get rid of... He's got frigates, gatling guns, and lancers. Yeah, he, he does not have the strength to stand up to me. I don't know how he has airplanes. Uh, where is airplanes? Like, just the basic airplanes? Flight? Alright, so we can assume he's at the start of the modern era. La France, yes, yeah, so let us work together, of course. Now I'm going to be saying that soon, after I beat the crap out of Siam, or maybe you will. I don't know how friendly you are with them. France and England are now friends. That's different. <laughs> ah, well. Ooh, yes, and this turn we get a new policy. Here's the question, though. Do I want a new policy? Or do I want to wait with that new tech? I can, I can, I'm, do I want to use the new tech is the question. I mean, if I wait, I could just get, buy flat out by particle physics, right? Right. Or the internet doubles tourism output. That'd be something. Uh, particle physics, yeah. I uh, could just flat out buy that if I wait until, you know, after I get this. It's a, it's like the final free tech of the game, so I feel obligated to spend it in a proper manner. Uh, what does the last one do for me? It's 50% extra from uh, those science agreements, right? Eh, I don't know. Get more happiness here. Is there anything here that I might want to adopt? Earn great renders. Alright, I'd be able to do that. Piety. Build Tron Temple have the useful time useless. Like, is there anything else I can get around here? Naval units, okay. Honor. Things that inverse barbarians. And the culture for the Empire Age Barbarian killed. Discipline. Wire code. Eh, no, not really useful there. Something to consider. <laughs> I suppose I don't have to use the free tech. Now nah, let, let's grab a tenant instead and, uh... Universal healthcare. We'll do it. Um... You know, 24 now. Okay... Uh, let's see. Cargo ship. I rebased you before. Can you get to Erdine? Erdine. Yes, you can. And you'll increase the religious pressure there by far more. That's exactly what I wanted. There you go. That equalizes the pressure. 
Now I just need like one going to Sale. Um, just sleep, because it's going to be a while. A single carrier and a single battleship and a single... Oh shoot, I didn't promote him, did I? Ugh. God, I hate those people. Yeah, I, didn't, I forgot to promote this dude. Shoot, I'll have to have him land here then. Uh, promote him up. A couple ranks. Promote you guys to rocket artillery now too, couldn't I? Yeah. Not really going to though. <clears throat> Windamu promoted. Special agent. Probably because he took out someone's spy. You will pay for this. Oh, believe me, Siam, you will pay. But I'm going to end the episode here. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And as always, this has been your host, Kaelvin. Conquering on and signing off. I'm gonna shut up, Sweden.